I want to uh, introduce our, uh, we're going to have a very brief program to celebrate the opportunity that Stonehill has to be downtown. And we're going to begin with Father John Denning, the president at Stonehill College. Thank Let's you. welcome Father John. Thank you, Thank you all. Good afternoon and welcome to the Downtown Center for Community Engagement. I'm very happy to be here uh, among so many of our students, colleagues, friends, and neighbors at this new center in the heart of downtown Brockton. For us, the center represents a deepening of our commitment to community development, education, and engagement in the city. We look forward to seeing this partnership flourish through the collaboration and programming here at the center. Stonehill College, founded by the Congregation of Holy Cross in 1948, has always emphasized the importance of community engagement. The college's mission statement reminds students, faculty, staff, and alum that we are called to make the world a more just and compassionate place. That is why we encourage our students to pursue opportunities beyond the classroom, to better understand the complexities of the world they live in, and to apply their knowledge and skills to truly make a difference. In hosting this open house, our goal is to position the center as a hub of activity and opportunity where our friends and partners in the Brockton community and our students, faculty, and staff from Stonehill gather, collaborate, and plan for future initiatives. This center will be a place where our students can learn from community leaders and where our community partners can access a range of resources that we hope will further the work they do to bring about positive change within our region. A word to our students. With access to dedicated community leaders and passionate change agents within this community, we hope you'll be able to learn from and grow academically, personally, and spiritually during your time at the center. As you uncover your own passions and desires to assist others, Use your time at the center to learn from community members who inspire social change. With this center, I truly believe we have the potential for enhancing our local partnerships. I do hope everyone has a chance to, to walk around, to explore the space, to catch up with old friends and to make new ones, to network and to generate thoughtful ideas on how best to use this center so that it is truly a hub of collaboration and innovation. Before concluding, I want to return to the topic of partnership because we would not be here without Harbor One Bank. Our friends at the bank are great partners with the college. They have been so gracious and thoughtful in making this space available to us and to so many area nonprofits. I would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank Jim Blake, CEO of Harbor One, and his colleagues at the bank for their outreach assistance and initiative which is truly community focused. Jim, thank you to you and to your staff and to your colleagues for being so generous and committed to the center and to Stonehill College. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to say some words. Thank you, Father. This, uh, this truly is a partnership. Uh, we've had, uh, this facility has been uh, part of our educational program in the community for over 10 years, Harbor One U. Uh, during that period of time, we've had uh, over 15,000 individuals sit in the classrooms that you see here, uh, members in the community that are looking to uh, enhance their educational experience and their financial literacy. Um, the average age of the students that have been there is in the 40s, so a little bit different than the, than the crowd that's here today. Uh, we're very excited about the opportunity to partner with Stonehill when we started having early discussions about this. Uh, you know, we looked at it from a strategic standpoint. Over the years, we've partnered here with uh, over 20 nonprofits in the community. And our effort has always been to look at a long-term strategy. We didn't want a program that was here for a year and then disappeared. And we didn't want to do it on our own. We wanted to find willing partners uh, that would look at the needs of the community from a strategic standpoint, where if we all pooled our resources and our expertise, we'd be able to make more meaningful change than each of us acting independently. And so this is just another example of, of uh, that process. Uh, our uh, Harbor One U and our relationship with Stonehill is a mechanism for us to continue to evolve 
uh, what we're doing here in the community and work with willing partners that are really doing such great work. So it's a pleasure to be here and we look forward to a uh, long-term relationship here. So thank you. Father. We are so grateful to Harbor One, and I especially want to acknowledge Mo Wilkinson and Sheila Farragher, who've been instrumental in, in making this happen and has been so supportive in so many ways, and to Jen White, too, for, for her support. Um, one of the aspects of the downtown center is a, an incubation space where we've invited some small nonprofits who are just getting on their feet to come together and work in a space that's collaborative. And one of those nonprofit partners is called Sabura, which is a uh, Cape Portuguese Creole word or Portuguese Cape word, Verdean. Cape Verdean word, um, that is, uh, means happiness, right? And uh, Amina uh, Fernandez Pilgrim works with um, Anita Lenny Montero, and they work out of the pod, I call them, downstairs. And uh, their program is a, is a summer um, youth program, and she'll say a little bit about it. And I want to invite Amina up here to say a word to you. Thank you, Father Jim. And first, I want to say thank you to all of the members of the Stonehill community who are here. And thank you to the representatives of Harbor One for all of your support. And thank you to my son for being here. Um, like Father Jim said, Sabura is a Cape Verdean Creole word. And in addition to meaning happiness, it also means fun. Um, so we chose that word to hopefully encompass the spirit of our program. And the spirit of our program is, is about having fun, but it's also about encouraging youth to strive for excellence. Um, imagine leaving home, um, those of you who are college students, imagine leaving home and going out into the world and forgetting everything that you learned at home or in your community that grounds you and that teaches you who you are. Well, Sabuda's goal is to make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, most of our youth participants are Cape Verdean, but we have youth representing all parts of the African diaspora. And the program is meant to foster an appreciation for traditional values and combine education and, and recreation um, to really help these students succeed in, in Brockton and, and from where, wherever they go after they leave Brockton. Um, it's a six-week program and it's for kids uh, ages 4 to 12 and also teens who can come back and work with the, the younger ones so to keep you know a complete circle um, intact and then um, in addition to that during the school year we have tutoring and we have some other enrichment activities so being here in this space allows us to continue what we've already done but we are also able to build capacity and we hope that we can continue to um, extend these partnerships, like Jim said, and, and create a sustainable program that will really um, bring life and sabura to Brockton. So thank you. There are too many people to thank, and I'll just wrap up rather briefly. I do want to acknowledge Father John Denning's support of um, the Downtown Center for Community Engagement and his great efforts to, uh, to see that it has happened. Um, there are many uh, congressional and civic leaders here and their representatives and many of our nonprofit partners, uh, and I'm really grateful for your presence here. I especially want to acknowledge our students. The reason we do anything we do uh, is to enhance the, uh, the opportunity for them to, to learn and to, and to be transformed in some ways. And there's no better classroom than the opportunities they have to mix it up with the kind of people they do when they mix it up in the city and when they engage with our partners in all the ways in which they can. I, could, I would be remiss if I did acknowledge, not acknowledge the good work of Corey Dolgan in seeing this happen. This was a vision of his for a long time. And Ed Jacobs has worked closely with him for a long time and many of the needs in the city and in Brockton's Promise, which is a, 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 an alliance of many nonprofits who serve the city quite remarkably. So I, I just, I know Corey's not able to be here, but I, um, I just wanted to acknowledge his, his good work in this, in this. And then finally, no one deserves more mention or praise than Sarah Morris. Sarah is a proud graduate of Stonehill. Well, we're proud that she's a graduate of Stonehill. Um, and uh, this year is the AmeriCorps Vista. I'd like her to just step forward. I won't make her speak to you, but I would really. <clears throat> so.
Sarah has done a great, great uh, good deed for all of us throughout the course of this year in coordinating our efforts around the incubation space, the use of this space, its scheduling, its upgrade in technology and other things, not to mention all the other responsibilities that are on her shoulders. So I'm, I'm really grateful to Sarah and her good work. We're going to end this little program, but you're welcome to stay. There's a lot of food and there's still tours to be had. And if people want to move around, you'd certainly be welcome to. Um, but we're just going to do a prayer of blessing on this gathered community and on this in this space that's been so kindly afforded us. Before the blessing, if we could just say a word to, to thank Father Jim for his work. He's really championing this among uh, the leadership at the college and it's, uh, it's, it's such a beautiful building and thanks again to Jim, but I mean a, a great place to really uh, highlight the good work that um, our community does to really enhance the place we call home. So I just want to thank, thank Jim you for the great work he's doing. Thank you. Let's just bow our heads and acknowledge the presence of God in this place. Heavenly God, we give you thanks and praise for the opportunity we have to gather. We ask your blessings on this space. May it be a place of collaboration, of passion, of compassion and love. Bless all who walk through it whose lives it will touch, and the community that it can transform. We ask you, too, to bless each of us in our way, however long we might intersect with Stonehill College or Harbor One Bank or the Downtown Center for Community Engagement. We ask you to open our hearts to the transformation that you have in store for us and all the ways in which we might better serve you and the needs of your people. And we give you thanks for your many blessings, especially this opportunity. And we bless this blessed space in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you for coming, and have a wonderful afternoon.